I'm Nancy Krulik. I live in New York City. I am the author of Katie Kazoo Switcheroo, George Brown Class Clown, and the upcoming Magic Bones series. I am here for the One Book, Two Book Festival in our United States City of Literature. And I'm very excited to meet all the young writers that are here. I've heard some wonderful, wonderful stories from them. This is a terrific city, it's a terrific program, and I'm really proud to be a part of it. Kids always want to know where I get my ideas. And I tell them you can get an idea anywhere. The idea for Katie Kazoo came to me in a dream. I had a dream about a girl who turned into a hamster. I don't know what that says about me, but I do know that I was smart enough to write it down in my dream journal so I didn't forget it, and that turned into Katie Kazoo. George Brown Class Clown is based on my son Ian, who can burp the alphabet and was a bit of a class clown. And Magic Bone is actually based on my dog, Josie, although the dog in the book is named Sparky. And um, she's a bit of a troublemaker, and so is Sparky in the books. But ideas can come from anywhere. One time, I was at a hairdresser, and I saw someone with a terrible haircut, and I thought, it looks like Katie Kazoo did that. So I wrote a book called Hair Today, Gone Tomorrow, where Katie turned into a hairdresser to some horrible results. Well, I live in New York City, so there are no quiet places to work, and I prefer to work with music in the background. Usually, I play the same CD over and over and over again so that it's in my background, but it's not in my head. I like to write to music. Maybe it's the rhythm. Maybe it's other artists doing their art form. I'm not really sure, but that's how I do it. I'm a mom, and when my kids are around the apartment and their friends are walking in and out or when they're going in and out of the kitchen, that makes me crazy. I tend to like to be alone with my music when I'm writing, but it's their house too, so it's not like I can throw them out. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I'm writing for a while and my brain just gets tired. Often I will take Josie, my dog, for a walk in Central Park. I'll go work out in the gym. I probably should clean the apartment for a break, but I very rarely do that. I tend to use the word stuff a lot. I think it's a very kid-like word, but my editor and I both agree it's sort of a cheat. It's really not specific, and authors should be a little more specific. I also have a tendency sometimes to overwrite slapstick. Slapstick should really be kept as short and snappy as you possibly can and leave a little room for the illustrators to draw it for you. So that's something else where I'm usually cutting is when I'm writing action. I have, I have struggled to keep it clean and neat and short. I'm a reader and I come from a long family of readers. When I was young, I think Dr. Seuss, I've had read to me more times than any child ever had read to them. As I got older, I read a lot of Judy Bloom. I read a lot of um, F. Scott Fitzgerald, a whole lot of Ernest Hemingway. I like to read authors that I think are genius. I like to aspire, knowing that I'll never reach that high, but it's fun to, to hope. And uh, reading people like Fitzgerald and Hemingway, that keeps you pretty humble. I try not to read other children's authors because I have a tendency to mimic voices. I'm a very good mimic, but I don't want to do that in my story. So I don't really read other children's authors' books, although I love to talk to other children's authors because I think we're a very unusual breed of people. Well, I write a lot of what is sort of realistic, humorous fiction with a magical twist. I love magic. I have written mysteries, but I find them very, very difficult to write. So someday I would really like to sit down and master the mystery. For the very first time, I have written in present tense because Sparky, the dog in Magic Bone, speaks in first person present tense. I'm channeling my inner dog. And the truth is, dogs' memories are very short, so you would be more likely to think in present tense if you are a dog. It is very, very hard to write in first person. It is even harder to write in first person present tense. I write funny books. I write about a boy who burps. I write about a girl who switcheroos into other people. I don't think there's any sort of spiritual magic in it, but I do think there's something to the artistic process. I really love surrounding myself by other artists of other genres, whether it's other writers. My husband is actually a composer. So I think it's more of an artistic spirit than any other kind of spiritual beliefs. 
I've heard it said that writers are several people all bound into one person. I think that's paraphrasing F. Scott Fitzgerald. So that's not a bad person to paraphrase. I think it's someone who can imagine themselves in many different lives because you really do have to become the people that you're writing. You really have to channel them. And that isn't always so easy. I took a few theater classes, which I thought was very helpful, because you have to act out other people. You have to take on other lives. And that's something you do when you're writing. So that's something new writers might want to consider, is taking on some theater classes, some improv classes, so that ideas come to you very quickly. To me, that's the way it works best. <laughs>